Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development. <laughs> Speaker, the people in my riding of Durham have been hit hard by COVID-19 like so many across the province of Ontario. While it's encouraging to see more people returning to work as we safely reopen the economy, some people in my community do not have jobs to return to. Recently, the Premier and Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development announced that our government's helping people retrain and gain the skills they need to work in the skilled trades. Speaker, would the government please tell this House how this investment will help increase skilled trades jobs in our community? Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Labour, Training and Skills Development. Thank you so much, Speaker, and thank you to the member for Durham for the question. Last month, the Premier and Minister announced $37 million to support over 80 projects across Ontario. This funding will help more than 15,000 people to train for new jobs in high-demand fields. In Durham Region, this includes investing in construction, automotive, aerospace, and transportation jobs. These jobs not only help provide for people and their families, they are the foundation for long-lasting, meaningful careers that will be indeed for years to come. For example, we're investing in a project that will bring together industry partners with the most talented students to help them find hands-on work placements that will teach them the skills they need to succeed. We've got a plan to get people back to work, and I look forward to speaking in the supplementary. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the parliamentary assistant for that answer. This is great work that's being done to train and upskill people so that they have the talent they need to connect to the jobs of today. This investment is giving Ontario Tech University, Durham College, and Loyalist College the tools they need to deliver work-integrated learning, like placements and apprenticeships, and we know how important those are to young people today. Speaker, as we know, the pandemic has impacted different people in different ways. Particularly, it's created an additional barrier for those who are already unemployed or underemployed. Can the government please also share with this House how these investments are supporting these groups that need help? The parliamentary assistant. Uh, thank you to the member for the follow-up question. Speaker, I'm happy to share that we are enriching school training programs to better align with the needs of employers and to help get workers back into the workforce. Take, for example, our Driving Success Commercial Driver Training Program with the Ontario Truck Training Academy. This program provides future drivers with the training opportunities and experiences they need to thrive in the current and future workplace. It has been specifically designed to enhance the student's knowledge, increase job retention, and improve communication between training organizations and candidates and employers. Speaker, we're on a mission to get people into good jobs to support them, their families, and their communities. We will not stop until this important work is done. Thanks, Speaker. 